Hello and welcome to a short video about the structure of the Earth. Here is the Earth. If we were able to look inside, we would see it looks a little something like this. There are various parts that we should know and be able to label. The first part is the outer surface. That's called the crust. That's between 5 and 70 kilometers thick, depending where you are. Below that, we have something called the mantle. And the mantle is about 2,900 kilometers thick and then below that if you go further in we have the outer core the outer core is approximately 2250 kilometers and then inside of that we have what's called the inner core and that is about 1220 kilometers from its outside edge to the middle so those are the four parts in the structure of the earth couple more details about each of these. The crust is made of rock, all the different types of rock that you can find. The mantle is a semi-solid, so it's a very, very, very thick liquid and it can flow. It's so, so thick it's almost like a solid. The outer core, that is made of iron and nickel, and that's liquid. So it's a liquid made of iron and nickel. The inner core is solid and it's made of iron. So these are the parts of the earth and what they're made of and roughly how thick they are. The next thing we can look at briefly is information about the crust. So here's the surface of the planet. If we just take a look, if we take away all the water and looked at the crust, we would see it's broken up into separate parts. These are called tectonic plates, and the continents sit on these tectonic plates. So these are individual sections of the Earth's crust. They can actually move, and they move about a few centimetres per year. It's quite interesting, because your home could be a little bit closer or a little bit further away from someone else in a different country, because these plates are moving every year, a few centimetres every year. These are plate boundaries. That's a boundary between one plate and another, and various things can happen here. The plates can move towards each other, away from each other, or slide past each other. When they slide past each other, this causes earthquakes, and also we can get volcanoes that are formed at plate boundaries. The red arrows show rough directions in which the plates are moving. As we said, the movement of the plates can cause volcanoes or earthquakes. So this is how the Earth's crust is arranged, or is broken up into tectonic plates. And we've also seen the structure of the Earth below the crust. That's it for our video today. Just a short one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.